South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts now. First at six, an investigation is ongoing into the deadly shooting out of East Charlotte that killed four officers and injured four others. Police say it happened Monday afternoon on Galway Drive in East Charlotte. Members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force went to serve felony warrants to this man, 39 year old Terry Clark Hughes. Hughes was shot and killed after allegedly opening fire on multiple members of law enforcement, hitting at least eight officers. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department released the names of the officers killed in the line of duty on Monday. They are Joshua Iyer with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, Samuel Paloche and William Elliott, both with the North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections and Thomas Weeks Jr., a deputy with the U.S. Marshal's Office. CMPD held a news conference today with an update on the conditions of the four other officers injured. WIS reporter Ashley Jones was there. Ashley, what can you tell us about this? So of those four officers that were injured, we're now learning that one would had a broken foot. Three others were shot and taken to the hospital. So far, two have been released. One remains in the hospital right now in stable condition. Just a very somber day here in the city of Charlotte. Right now, we are at the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, where a memorial has been set up in honor of those four fallen heroes whose lives were cut far too short. Go ahead and take a look. We've seen multiple people coming by, paying their respects, giving their condolences, leaving flowers and things of that nature. And then right across the street from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, another memorial has been set up. As you can see right now, there's a man there stopping by just to look at that memorial. We've seen people coming by also just paying their respects over that way. I mean, truly a tragic day here in the city of Charlotte. We have some video that we want to show you from residents who live out in that neighborhood of that shooting yesterday. Go ahead and take a look. Home video shows the moments those shots ring out. Tyler, get in here! Get in the bathroom, Tyler. Tyler All of this happening in a residential neighborhood. Children screaming, families in panic, while members of law enforcement endure the crossfire. Dangerous assignments are part of the job, but they step up and do it anyway to protect our communities and protect our families. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Chief Johnny Jennings says this started with them just doing their job. Members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force went to serve 39 year old Terry Clark Hughes Jr. with felony arrest warrants for possession of a firearm as a felon and eluding law enforcement. But that assignment turned deadly. It, it sounded like World War III. Officials are still working to piece together the exact timeline, but Chief Jennings says when officers approached the home, shots were fired. Hughes then exited the home, shots still ringing out. He was killed at the scene. An AR-15 rifle was recovered from Hughes along with a 40 caliber and multiple magazines for both weapons. Chief Jennings became emotional while remembering those four officers that were lost. The last few days have it's just been very tough. And knowing that you have families that are hurting right now. We'll get through it, though. So many of the officials that were at that press conference today also became emotional while uh, Chief Jennings was recounting what took place on yesterday. Now, right now, CMPD is investigating whether or not there may have been another shooting, another shooter involved in the shooting. We're learning today that two females were actually inside of the home that Hughes came out of. One female was identified as 17 years old. The other female has not yet been identified. We're going to continue following this. I'll continue to stay on top of this story and, of course, bring you the latest developments as they become available to me, starting with the funeral arrangements for those four fallen officers. But for now, reporting here in Uptown Charlotte, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10. All right, Ashley, thanks so much. And 12 officers have been placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. No word yet on when they'll return to duty. Now at six.